don't know what I should do And I wish you would be right here with me My mind is filled with pictures Of when we used to dance But now I don't Hey friends, welcome to my channel So in today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing review with you guys today So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video If you do, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up If you haven't clicked that subscribe button Don't forget to click it now before leaving today's video as well And so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this package And um, this was actually sent for me from Audio so thank you so much Avilo for sponsoring today's video and it is the mug organizer so I'm going to go ahead and put this together and then I'm going to be styling it and sharing with you guys a couple of ways on how I'm going to be styling. So in the packet um, we do have a little manual instruction installation thing with no words so I'm guessing it's gonna be super easy but anyhow this is what it looks like so yeah, like I said no words then we find our little basket container really cute and then inside there is a few couple of extra mini small screws and then we're gonna start taking it apart so it is a three-tier um, holder is actually a like a mug rack holder um, organizer so yeah so if you guys have been needing some extra space or where to hang or display your mugs for your morning coffee hot cocoa or so on especially with the holidays coming around right now and if you have those really cute nice um, mugs that you just want to have display this is a really good deal for you guys to go ahead and display your mugs on there um, they also gave me a discount code for you guys which I will have linked in the description box down below so don't forget to go check that out um, once you're done watching the video so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling this um, we do need a plus screwdriver so let me go ahead and get one of those so um, I have so many ideas like I know you can use this to hang your hair bows, headbands, is pretty much like the one I'm wearing here. Um, the hair bows, you can use it for your keys in your entry organizer, your mugs. Um, you can also use it for like little children's cups. For example, little cups like this, you can put them on and I guess just put like their straws here. But like Jayla likes to use her cups with straws so this could also work like that but like I mentioned I am going to be sharing with you guys different ideas at the end so um, make sure you guys watch to the end so you guys can figure out more ideas on how to use this so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just start assembling this um, so yeah let's see how simple this is to go so it comes with seven little screws so hopefully it doesn't take forever to assemble and it's easy I'm really good at assembling things anyway, so I pretty much don't think I would struggle, but let me know how good you guys are at assembling projects or doing projects um, that cause for assembling or something like that. Let me know if you guys are good at it or if it's one of your worst things. Okay, to start off first, you have to put it in and make sure that the holes are lining up because it does have a certain way to go in there. Um, as you can tell, I just turn it around a couple of times until I actually found it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start screwing them in. By the way, I'm cooking a banana nut bread and oh my gosh, is this kitchen smelling so delicious. I just love cooking for fall, baking for fall. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoy banana nut bread. Do you guys like baking? What is one of your favorite um, fall dessert recipes that you guys like and enjoy or is just like a staple in your house or something? But yeah, we had a couple of bananas that were overripe. So I just went ahead and smashed them up and made banana nut bread for the kids. So I got three screws done already. 
I'm gonna do my last one for the first tiers. You could use a hand drill too if you have one, but it's not necessary. These screws are extra small, so it doesn't even take much to to be um, screwing on. It's very easy with just the hand screw. Now we're gonna go ahead and add the last tier up. And when you open your package and you look at it, you're gonna notice that it is a very good quality organizer. It is metal. The color is actually really dark black. Um, so that's really nice too, but you could totally spray paint it to um, fit your color streams that are going around in your house or if you have like certain colors on your coffee bar or something like this would look really cool if you were to spray paint it um, a copper color or so on. Yeah, like I think it will look really nice even in a white color. I think a white color would look really, really good on one of these. But yeah, like I mentioned, it is metal and it is very, very sturdy. So it doesn't feel like wobbly or it's gonna be wobbly or flexible or anything like that. Like you could tell it is really good quality. So I still have a couple more screws to screw in. So I have one screw left, so I'm thinking it's an extra one. Okay, so it is already already all put together and here is the little basket that goes in the inside. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start um, styling it. I'm gonna measure it for you guys so you guys can know how tall it is in case you guys are wanting to know. So yeah, so it is 13 inches tall, so it's a foot and one inch tall and the base from the bottom part of the wideness is actually seven inches wide so yeah so if you guys are looking for something that is a foot well 13 inches tall or seven inches wide this is the size of this so yeah not really big or wide so yeah it's gonna fit pretty much any little area corner a little nook you have so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and start styling it for you guys Okay, first, so for style number one, I used um, headbands, these head wraps that my younger sister makes. And then for the little basket area, I did put brush, the comb, and some rubber bands for when brushing Jayla's hair. So yeah, and also too, here are some other hair ties that I just tied, um, hung over the hook, and some more headbands. So yeah, this is just an idea of how to Decorate it with your daughter's hair bows or hair accessories for an easy grab in the morning when you're brushing their hairs before school. So yeah, I think this is really cute. I might end up using this um, way for organizing um, mine, Jayla's, and my older daughter's headbands, head wraps, and hair bows. Um... So yeah, I thought this was really cute too. So yeah, once again, this is option number one. Since this is a very multi-purpose organizer, so yeah, I'm just going to be sharing more ideas with you guys. So here's one last look of our first option idea. So for option number two, I used it as a key holder and in the little basket up here I did add a few masks so when we're rushing out the front door so yeah here's just another idea um, it will hold a bunch of keys if you guys are in need of a really big key holder so yeah so it has a bunch of hoops as you can tell so you can practically hang keys all over it so yeah so this was another option for this organizer so this is a very handy key holder that carries a lot of keys and then just a couple of masks here for when you're 
rushing out the door and your one of your kiddos has forgotten their mask or something just quickly grab and go And for option number three, I styled it with a couple of JLS cups and then in the little cup holder, I put her straws and some lids that belong to her Lena cups. So yeah, here is another idea because I've seen a, quite a few people who like to um, keep the kiddos cups at their reach so it makes it easier for them just to go ahead and grab and serve themselves a drink. So yeah, this is another cute idea on how to use this cup organizer um, for your all your little ones needs as well. So it doesn't have to be practically just for mugs, like you could just do all kinds of different stuff with this. But yeah, like I mentioned, I was going to be sharing a couple of ideas with you guys. So yeah, this is just another one. So now for the mug rack idea, I'm going to be sharing with you guys two different ways that it can also be styled. So here is style number one. As you can tell, I just added a couple of my fall mugs over here. And then my kids do get the bus early in the morning, like the bigger kids. So I went ahead and added their little um, two gold cups here. And the lids are in this little basket just to help them more easily to serve themselves their hot cocos before I drop them off at the bus stop for one here with the mugs and I'm gonna go ahead and show you share with you guys another option on how to style it with the mugs as well so for another mug option I hanged quite a few of my mugs the ones we mostly use right now in this fall season so there's actually I'm gonna say six mugs hanging and there is room for more mugs and then um, here in my basket part on top um, we don't use the k-pops for a curate my husband doesn't like the that coffee it's just a little too strong for him so we do use um, Nescafe just an instant coffee and I do add them into this one so there's one here the other one is in the dishwasher so I went ahead and just added it in there just to quickly grab in the mornings for when I add his coffee in there so yeah here is another idea um, how to style this using several mugs on there like one of your most easy mugs so it's just easy to go ahead and just grab and then add to your coffee pot and then just start and enjoy your coffee for the day so yeah so this is another option um out of all of the ideas i'm sharing with you guys let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite one and i think i have one more idea i'm gonna share with you guys um so yeah it's not really nothing huge so i'm not gonna make a big old difference on here but I'm gonna go ahead and style it a different way and it's actually gonna be the way I'm going to be keeping it so yeah so just if you guys are still here with me and if you guys are enjoying all of these ways that I'm styling it don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up okay so now for the last option this is how I have it um, styled so I did keep a couple of the mugs here so I do have six mugs if I'm not mistaken and then I did put, um, I took out the basket from the top since with the hutch here, there's not really enough room to put your hand in there. And I was looking for a small plate that would fit here, but I didn't find one. So I just went ahead and put my lid to my tumbler there. And then I put the disposable lids for the kids' disposable cups there. And then for the, um, basket I went ahead and put it over here with our spoons um, I'm out of stir so I just went ahead and kept it like that but um, this is another idea as well so I just keep the spoons in here and then the little k-pop for the coffee grinds in there and then yeah so that is another way how I styled it and that is the way I am keeping it so 
I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to check the description box down below if you guys are interested in one of these amazing mug rack holders. As I mentioned, it is a black color and it is very sturdy and it's not very big so it fits in pretty much any little corner that you guys have or need and as you can tell, although it's very small, it still holds a bunch of mugs. Like I can actually put more mugs to the back but I only wanted to keep it where there's mugs more visible and easier to grab so we don't have to be like turning it around or something. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check the description box for the code um, so you guys can go ahead and save yourself some money to purchase one as well. Let me know in the comments down below which one did you guys like the best and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye guys!